G'day and welcome to Camper, a chance to leave the real world behind for just a couple of minutes. On today's show, more Camper Classics, a chance to win the ARB swag, and if you're heading to Fraser soon, here's your Fraser Island checklist. Fraser Island is one of the great wonders of the world. It's blessed with an abundance of natural beauty, long pristine beaches, freshwater lakes and creeks, and beautiful flora and fauna. If you're coming over here for a few days, either to stay in one of the resorts or you're camping on the island, there are a few things that you'll need to know. Firstly, Fraser is huge. In fact, it's the largest sand island in the world, so just getting around requires a bit of planning as there's limited fuel on the island and your consumption of fuel will be elevated because you're driving in soft sand and normally with a load on. Long range fuel tanks or an extra jerry can or two of fuel will do the trick. A lot of the tracks on Fraser are one way, which is great, but occasionally you'll find yourself in a situation where you're on one that's not. Remember to look for easements, either in front or behind of your vehicle, to allow people to pass. If you're travelling in convoy, it's courtesy to let the oncoming traffic know how many are tailing you behind. If you're travelling on an extra high or low tide on the beach, use your indicators to advise oncoming traffic of your intentions. A bit of common sense goes a long way. My pet hate on the beach is speed. There are so many kids, families and fishermen and the sound of waves crashing makes it hard to hear oncoming traffic. Yes, the sign may say 80 kilometres per hour at times, but when you're approaching beachgoers or fishermen, slow it right down. I've never understood the rush. After all, you are on holidays. It's always good to carry some recovery gear with you to get yourself out of a jam. A snatch strap is a handy item and it's really easy to use these max tracks and not have to worry about asking for a snatch. Keep your tyre pressures at around 18 to 20 psi and you shouldn't have too many issues driving the island on mid-tide or lower. Your local ARB store can supply you with all the advice and equipment that you'll need to tackle your own Fraser Island adventure. Somerset Dam or Land Cruiser Park. The east coast of Cape York. Because it's so isolated, so wild, and there are no rules. At the moment, Morton Island. Uh, the, the water for the kids, um, just the diversity of the land, it, it's just magic, absolute magic. Oh, okay, Land Cruiser Park, Albin Parrots and Moron. Double Island Point, um, yeah, I don't know, I guess good spot, good vibe. Uh, Land Cruiser Mountain Park, because it's the best place in Queensland. Mate, anywhere where there's sun, surf and sand. G'day, Dean Miller from Camper. To celebrate the launch of our new online TV show, we're giving away a fabulous ARB Skydome Series 1 swag. It's valued at $430, it's the best swag on the market, and here's how you win it. Click on the link below to enter the competition and to increase your number of entries, just follow the prompts. The more entries you have, the more chance of winning and you've got to be in it to win it. The ARB Skydome Series 1 swag is the most comfortable and airy swag that I've ever slept in. Made of heavy duty materials with terrific ventilation and 100% waterproof, the swag retails for $430, but it could be yours for free just for entering. The prize will be drawn on Friday, April 13. Register now and good luck.